Hello students, welcome to the series on marketing and retail business. Today we are going to study retail management. In this we will cover unit 2 and today we will study about vending machines. Now let's study the objective of this lecture. The objective of this lecture is to do an analysis of vending machine and the importance in retail industry. We will also study what will be the future of vending machines. Now let's study the concept of vending machines. The vending machines are a modern way of doing business in this technological era. The vending machines are available to various manufacturers and suppliers in different sizes, shapes, colors to cater to different budgets. Now vending machines has been a kind of a different trend impacting the retailing of services. These are machines which are available to the customers where they can access their facilities by paying a certain amount of money. There is no salesman, they are automatically designed to look after the customers at odd hours and at odd stations. What are the facilities needed by vending machines? Some types of vending machines need electricity to operate and some use mechanical motion to vend the products. Different machines suit different purposes and locations and even for targeting different customers. Most of the machines which are sophisticated and highly technologically designed are located in posh areas of cities which are governed through CC cameras and electricity where uh, this operates the machine. But sometimes the remote locations have mechanical machines which generally are uh, using their mechanical power to vend the products for the customers. Now let's study the functions of vending machines. The basic functions of the vending machine is to offer chocolates, lollies, soft drinks, other snacks, money and exchange. So uh, how vending machine is helping customers? Most of the stations are offering these basic services of water, cold drinks, snacks, chocolates through the vending machines. Even the currency exchange is done through the ATM machines which is giving a comfort to the customers. Now let's study the popular locations of machines. The machines are available in most locations like office buildings, schools, train, bus stations, shopping centers, entertainment areas and movie theaters which are located in posh areas. So where are the vending machines actually available? These machines are available at airports, railway stations, entertainment areas, in public parks and in areas like malls and organized sector. What is the use of these machines is that you can uh, handle your most of the problems without the assistance of the salesman. So you just swap your card and get your things done in a faster way. And these machines are useful at these public places because the footfall is high. And when the population pressure is high, maybe any customer at any time can feel thirsty, he can feel hungry. So these machines can support your basic needs in a big way. Coffee vending machine. The vending machine offers coffee menu that allows customers to select specific types of coffee, hot chocolate drinks, tea and provides the cup, coffee, sweetener. The offices, universities, hospitals and 24 into 7 convenience stores and service stations can provide good vending machines for service to the customers. Now because now most of the organizations are working for 24 hours like because the online services of libraries and universities is helping students to connect at odd hours. It is the call centers working for round the clock. It is hospitals where the services need to be given to the customers round the clock. So at this time, it is very difficult to maintain a high level of sales force, which are talented and trained to support a system to serve the customers. Customers can feel hungry and thirsty at any time. So the vending machine can give you coffee, sweetener, sugar, and any type of selection of chocolates or milk Whatever uh, you want, the facilities are given through a menu bar. You select pay without the support of any salesman. You get the service at these places which are working round the clock. Toiletries vending machine. Vending machines are offering toiletries and medical supplies. They are usually situated in public comfort rooms at airports, bars, restaurants and clubs. These vending machines provide essentials such as sanitary supplies, facial towels, dental floss, toothbrushes and paste, 
headache tablets and even condoms. So when we talk about these machines, they have become a part of your life because uh, we don't take everything when we travel and sometimes if we are at emergency uh, in a hotel or at airport, we can look up to the vending machine to get any type of toiletry required to clean your face or to look after your body. You can just access the vending machine, pay and get the facility needed. The changing vending machine of modern era. The machines are useful to break a note into coins or smaller denominations. The vending machines take credit cards to give exchange. They are popular in uh, casinos, parking stations, self-car washes and even launderities. So uh, the change vending machine that is they give you exchange. If you have a big note and you are not able to do shopping, the vending machine can give you coins and money in smaller denomination. They are available at parking spots and in the uh, car service stations or at hotels or at any location which uh, the uh, customer is generally influencing by their footfalls. So this is important that vending machines support the emergency needs of people. If you want some kind of money or if you want some kind of exchange or if you want a kind of a coffee or anything, the vending machine is upgraded to give you any facility related to these locations. Office supplies vending machine. This vending machine is useful in academic settings and libraries, airports and career centers. It provides pencil, pencil sharpeners, pens, paper, USB, flash drivers and even mailing products like envelope and stamps. So if you are working in a university and an academic center, you every time need small facilities which require lot of efforts through shopping. So if you have a vending machine, you can easily access and get the little things related to stationery like pencil and paper. Customized vending machine. The machine provides a small number of different products such as CD, DVD, tickets, console, computer games, disposable cameras and even bulk refillable spring and filtered water. They are great for supermarket shopping centers and retail stores. Now even retail stores and big supermarkets have resorted to vending machine because it is a cheap option to connect with the customer where you don't need a salesman to look after the customer. The customers is a kind of a power which generally needs comfort. So the retail sectors also have a shortfall of trained people to look into the total setup. The labor cost is high and to maintain that labor you need to organize with the salary statements, the PF statements and all the government norms to uh, keep those employees in your organization. So we need to reduce the number of employees so as to uh, systemize our operations which are automatic and coordinated through vending machines. So most of the big stores also have vending machines to get basic needs of the customers which is not very innovative and designer. You can get access to CDs and DVDs or other items which are related to your daily life. Convenience of self-employment. Many people are seeking the convenience of self-employment by keeping vending machines. There is no better way than with the vending machine business. The vending machines can offer nominal income and revenue for any entrepreneurs. Now because vending machines have become a big way of doing business and people have accepted, so even entrepreneurs are looking into this field as an innovative way to earn money. If you have a costly uh, location, that is you have a space, your house in, is in a kind of a location which is more commercial. You can uh, rent out that location to any bank and keep an ATM machine. This will at least give you rental charges to run your house and earn bread and butter. Maybe the revenues are not very high, but they are still enough that to generate a fixed nominal income per month. Challenges of vending machines. The vending machines are not magical money making machines. They are passive business which operates up to 24 hours a day. It is not completely free from responsibilities. Though we think that vending machines are automatic, but it is 24 hour business and investment is required where uh, to earn cash on daily basis is really difficult because these vending machines also need to attract customers. Now let's look into the what are the problems. It is a form of passive business. 
capital and profits are not easy to be earned. The daily cash revenue from vending machine cannot provide emergency funds to keep your business alive. No reserves to restock your machine. There are chances of theft also. So when you are into a business of vending machine, is it's not easy to refill the machine because daily revenues at instant basis are not available. You have to start a day by funding the machine. You have to start a day by financing the machine. So investment has to be done before you at least get the profits at the end of the month or end of the year. Vandalism and destruction. Vandalism and destruction is another problem that you may face. It can mean loss of stock but also machine out of action while it's either repaired and replaced. Sometimes these machines are uh, easy target of robbers who generally loot the machine by breaking it and collecting money. It is also uh, not the money robbed but it is also the machine broken. So we need to repair and replace the machine which can cause inconvenience to the customers. So to look after the machine is also a sensitive issue which the entrepreneurs need to address before they invest in this option. Immediate cash flow. The cash flow starts as soon as your equipment is placed. Most new business fail in a larger part due to lack of cash flow in the beginning. The business can only sustain after a certain break even point. But initially till you maintain the machine you need, you need to invest money. Multiple streams of cash flow. Most people who are financially independent are those who have more than just one source of income. A vending machine business allows you to establish more than one machine at many different profitable sites, often selling different types of products which provides a good potential for multiple streams of cash flow. Now uh, vending machines can be a source of income like if you are doing a job then the machine can be another source of income to you. So you don't need to look after in a way where uh, 24 hours of presence is needed but you can generally take it as an option of side income. And if you are financially independent and if you have lot of money, you can establish vending machines at different locations and try to increase your sources of income to make it a larger part of your returns. Part time or full time, the vending machine business can operate as little as much as the uh, person likes or the owner likes. They will only be working for oneself, there is no need to have a boss to answer. There are no set hours, there is no advertising cost, it is not complicated paperwork required and there is no limit to income also because you can increase the options of the machines at various locations. So it is a good business that you don't need to answer your boss and you don't need to sit for the whole day and uh, commit yourself with lot of paperwork but still if you are financially independent this can be a big option to connect with the customers and establish a source of income for making your life easy. Being a salesman is not a prerequisite. The successful individuals in the field of vending machine today are those who didn't feel that they were talented as salespeople. Need for good plan and location for vending business is the formula for success. There is some professional help needed from experts in vending machines to get business to become more profitable. Now to become a salesman is a kind of a serious challenge that you need to be trained. You need to be sensitive to people's issue and you need to connect with the emotions and the feelings of the people to make a group of customers who can have faith in you uh, by which you can give them retail services. But in case of vending machine when you don't have the qualities of salesmanship still you can sell to the consumers by investing money and uh, little expertise at initial level will help you to become independent because once the machine starts functioning your job is over and you basically have a kind of a professional source of income which can support your life. Mobility. The vending machine can always be moved to another area to target another market and increase the profits. If you think that this area is not having a potential customers, you can always relocate and shift your machine to other profitable locations. Vending machines in gym and fitness centers. The gym and fitness centers clients are health conscious people. The vending machines can provide them with products to enhance their fitness and performance. Vending junk and high calorie foods in machine is not a synchronization with the gym's purpose of promoting fitness and good health. Now most of the gym or fitness centers also have vending machines 
to sell burgers and uh, cold drinks but then this does not synchronizes uh, with the kind of the business concept you are so these kinds of machines which are the fitness center need to give supplements related to health or protein powders which can become a support to the customers who are coming to your gym and uh, they do not have a problem to find in the market and can have the kind of the right supplement which is needed for the body personalized vending machine vending machines can be personalized to particular business a combo vending machine that offers customers healthy snack bars and workout drinks powder or bottled in one machine could be good place to start as business grows machines can be more customized by offering a machine for each kind of product or brand with the addition of extra products such as vitamins and performance enhancing products so vending machines can have a combo in terms of offering many things but when business start growing you can customize it according to the need of the customer and sell only a specialized product that will increase the revenues dual temperature vending machines the customers need icy cold energy drinks as well as room temperature nutritious snacks machine needs to provide great products which are eye catching too in their attire customers come and have a look in order to buy the vending machine needs great products with attractive and easy read labeling now vending machine needs to be dual temperature regulated because people need uh, ice cold drinks or coffee and at the same time they need snacks with that room temperature so your machine has to be temperature regulated also and it has to be covered by glass to give attractive ambience to look at the products which have a larger labeling so as to read what is written because you cannot touch the products you can see the products and then automatically vend out earn more profits from vending machines you need to install machines in places with high foot traffic and in common areas where customers stop the public places of banks and malls can have vending machines with high footfall the machine should be placed at exit area where most people come and go the machine should be in areas where customers eat and drink like rest areas and waiting lounges so the machine need not to be located at any at any corner of the mall because if they are hidden they will not be seen by the customers so the popular eye witnessing or uh, those areas which are exposed to customer footfall and where the customers can see uh, the machines in a easy way they are the best points where the machines can have good access to the customers preferences vending machines the vending machines are microprocessor controlled and programmed digital controls for program beverages it is highly adjustable coffee dispenser to fit all sizes of cups and continuous dispensing functions the flow meter causes the consistency in the dispensed volume the metallic brewing unit is best suited for the espresso extraction the advanced vertical boiler is there for improved thermal consistency there is steam uh vent to heat the beverages so vending machines are computer oriented that you have a microprocessor which will allow all the functions to be done so inside you have a dispenser to maintain the consistency you also have the boiler which will regulate the temperatures and vend out the coffee at the temperatures you want the steam vendors will maintain the uh, heatness of the beverage now let's study the future of vending machines for vending companies the technology will improve efficiency data collection and maintenance machines will employ remote diagnostics to alert staff at headquarters when machines need refilling and servicing detailed stock status will be transmitted to centralized locations so that route drivers and technicians will know exactly what products are needed to restock their machines before they even begin their routes now what is the future of the vending machine it will be more data oriented in terms of the digital transformation of the retail industry where the remote sensing will help the uh, people at remote areas at headquarters to understand what is needed and what uh, products are to be refilled and restocked machines will transmit real time data on transactions along companies to give tighter control and have more precise data on cash stock and accountability of products consumer will be able to use their cell phones to dial up a particular vending machine to select and pay for soft drinks 
So, the technology will change in such a way that uh, the companies from the remote locations can look into what is the cash status, what is the stock status and consumers through their mobile phone can order and pay through uh, their mobile phones to the vending machines and collect their stock. Now, let us study the summary of this lecture. We have studied vending machine, their importance for consumers. Vending machine has become a new way of doing business. Uh, the total operation of retail industry cannot be carried through the vending machine, but still vending machines is a profitable way to look into the emergency and the instant need of people at airports, railways, banks, university and at all public places. Even the retail organizations like malls and hypermarkets and supermarkets have started keeping vending machines because vending machines basically do not need staff. The training and the basic uh, uh, pressure of uh, salesmen is less. So, this gives them the option to connect with the customers at their own end. The customers pay and collect their stock. So, this self service of the customers also keep the owners devoid of the problems of the customer complaint and the pressure which the customer puts on the organization. The coffee, the pencil, the stationery, the toiletries, the drinks, the water, the exchange, everything which is needed in daily life is now supplied by vending machines. And for banks, that is the financial industries, the ATM machines have become a big way to collect cash and to exchange money. So, vending machines have a bright future where they will upgrade in technological terms through re, uh, remote resensing to design the flow of cash and stock. I hope the students must have understood the importance of vending machines in retailing industry. Thank you students.